These are the stupidest smart people in the world. And I, I don't, and it's only in the context of politics where somebody as smart as Ben Shapiro would take a risk such as this on Donald Trump, right? In their, in their personal lives, they would never send their, put their kids in a school. Here's Tim Miller's take from his latest appearance, and I'll be sharing my thoughts on it too. Let's dive in and check it out together. Where somebody like Donald Trump was the principal of the school. They would never do that, right? If there were two right. options and, and there was like so a true. normal center left kind of woke liberal running one school and there was an insane madman sundowning <laughs> running the other school saying random yeah. shit all the time, yeah. they, would ne they would always go in the woke liberal school every time, all You're these right. people. They're only doing this in the context of politics. It is an unbelievable risk. And uh, the Wall Street Journal this morning, if you don't mind, I pulled this one up. These are supposed to be the intelligent conservatives. This was their editorial today. Mr. Trump was too undisciplined and his attention span too short to stay on message, must, much less stage a coup. In supporting Trump, the yeah. Wall Street Journal's editorial position is he's too stupid to coup, so we're gonna roll with him. <laughs> Elderly man with only crazy people around him in charge at age 82? Who, who would take this risk? Like, no matter, even if you did agree with the policies or whatever, it is a ludicrous risk to take, and all of these supposedly smart people have lost their mind to go, to go along with it. If you enjoy this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. You know, half the country yeah. is like, that's the way we all talk. We don't, yeah. watch, we don't watch our piece in the I also, I also get I a mean, little annoyed about the media, the constant media because of the mainstream media. I, this is a fair criticism, but it's like, it's coming oftentimes from people who are like uh, frequent viewers of the Jesse Waters show or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, the, there's a whole right wing mega media. Like, it's not 1984, right? Where there are only three networks. And if they're a little bi and if they're biased, if Dan Rather is telling you something that's wrong, that's like a really big deal that right. he's biased because 60 million people are watching Dan right. Rather. It's like as many people right. like are watching yeah. daytime MSNBC as are watching primetime Newsmax, right? So it's like uh, you know what I mean. So obsessing over the criticism, of right? So obsessing over the criticism of it, right. I sometimes they're, think is a little overkill. So JD Vance said teens are becoming <laughs> teens are purposely becoming trans. To get into elite colleges, <laughs> well, it is. I, I don't. I don't think that's. I don't think that's why teens are becoming trans. I, but well, if, just to throw it all on the table, I'm not so sure that elite colleges don't want trans, possibly more than they want people who are not trans. I mean, that's just where the far left is. I don't think they're purposely doing that. He also said that he would, wouldn't be <laughs> what's, the, what's his plan for the White House on that interf I, interf I, I, interfering? I have no idea. What's the, what's the Trump but, Vance administration going to do? Is there like to... one case of that? Of course not. <laughs> yeah, so. But he said, J.D. Vance said he wouldn't be surprised if he and Donald Trump get the normal gay guy vote. Yes, <laughs> it means by the normal gay guy vote is the guy who has a blank profile on Grindr, who's messaging... <laughs> messaging uh, actual out gay guys. I think that probably is a Trump All right, point. Bill Maher and political analyst Tim Miller tackled some big topics and shared their takes in a pretty interesting way. First up, Maher commented on how many Americans are casual with their language, saying that not everyone is super careful with their words, and he feels that's something a lot of people can relate to. Then the two dive into the topic of media bias, a hot-button issue for sure. Miller points out that while people often criticize mainstream media, many of these critics are still watching opinionated programs like Jesse Waters on the right. He reminds us that it's not like the old days when a few major networks dominated everything. Today, the media is more diverse, and smaller channels like Newsmax have audiences comparable to the big names. So he thinks this focus on mainstream media bias might be a bit overdone. The conversation then shifts to some recent comments made by Republican Senator J.D. Vance. Vance recently suggested that some teens might be purposely becoming trans to get an edge in elite college admissions, which both Marr and Miller find extreme. They agree it's pretty unlikely that teens are making such personal choices just to stand out on applications, though Marr adds that it's possible elite colleges may prioritize diversity in some way. And finally, Vance's unusual comment about the normal gay guy vote comes up. He said that he and Trump could win over this group. Miller jokes that by normal gay guy, Vance might be referring to closeted men using dating apps like Grindr with anonymous profiles. Both Marr and Miller find the comment pretty odd and out of touch with reality. The conversation wraps up with some laughs and a few eye rolls as they take in Vance's unique takes on these issues.